to connect two limit switches in normally closed mode, they must be connected in series. Connect a wire between IN1 and the NC terminal of one of the limit switches. We connect the wire between the COM terminal of the first limit switch and the NC terminal of the second limit switch. We connect another wire between the COM terminal of the second limit switch and the DCM terminal of the Mach 3 controller. Connect a wire between the DCM terminal and the minus 24 volt terminal of the power supply. Connect a wire between the 24 volts terminal of the Mach 3 controller and the plus 24 volt terminal of the power supply. We weld the wires on the limit switches. This type of limit switches also has other electronic components mounted in the circuit and this must be removed. Because the COM terminal of the second limit switch and the minus terminal of the power supply are connected to the DCM terminal of the Mach 3 controller we can weld them together. We mount the limit switches on CNC. We connect the minus and COM terminals to the DCM terminal. Connect the NC terminal of the first limit switch to terminal IN1 of the Mach 3 controller.
We start the power supply and connect the USB cable between the computer and the Mach 3 controller. We start the Mach 3 software and choose the desired profile. We go to the config where we select ports and pins. Select input signals. Activate Z plus and Z minus. Choose the port 3. Because we use input IN1 we write pin 1. Because we use the normally closed limit switches, we select active low. Save the settings. Press the reset button. We check manually if the limit switches work. If the limit switches work correctly we will receive the limit switch triggered message. After releasing the limit switch, press the reset button and the message will disappear. Now press Z plus hop keys until the Z axle trolley reaches the limit switch. Limit switch triggered message appeared again so limit switches work correctly.